Every Friday night here on Channel 2, we bring you the story of a local crime that is still unsolved, including the death of a man from Buffalo whose father told us that he was on the path to a very bright future when he was killed. Here's two on your sides, Leanne Stuck. 70-year-old John Harris lives on May Street in Buffalo. This driveway he ran up in, like I said, the house was sitting here and he went behind and he couldn't make it over that fence. Each time he walks out of his home, he's reminded of what happened to his son 16 years ago. It's a hurting thing to have to bury your child before you. That hurts. Harris says he was never more proud of his son Amir than when he graduated from high school, photographing the entire event. At the end of everything, he walked up on me and said, Dad, do you know how much you embarrassed me? <laughs> I said, do you know how much you made me proud? to walk across that stage and get that diploma. In 2003, 20-year-old Amir Harris couldn't wait to turn 21. He was happy that he's going to turn 21. He said, I'm going to be a man now. I'm going to be a man now. At the time, he was an aspiring rapper who was looking to get into the roofing business. But on June 18th, 2003, everything changed. Front. That afternoon, Harris went to the business. store. On my way coming from the store, driving down the street, my neighbor came out and flagged me down. And uh, Nita told me that my son had been shot. And I said, where? And she said, May Street. Harris said Amir and his friend were both shot. Amir was taken to ECMC, where he later died. He also said he has an idea who may have pulled the trigger that night and says jealousy may have been a factor. My son, when he approached me three years prior to that and told me about his friend being jealous and envy of him, why? He said, Dad, because I got a dad and a mom's. We own our own house. Harris said no one is talking. He's hoping law enforcement can do more to protect people who come forward, so more people will. But even after all these years, he says he won't stop seeking justice and remembering his son fondly. He just was a loving little young man. Beautiful smile, kind heart. He didn't mind doing for people when you asked him. With this unsolved, I'm Leanne Stuck.